Hey, this is Matt Wimmer from Brody Precision, and in this video we're going to be starting a new series on the new features as they become available in Niagara. So the first version that we're going to look at is Niagara 4.12, which is available through the Vicon channel. Uh, it will be available through Honeywell and Johnson uh, once they complete their uh, testing processes that they go through, which delays their releases a little bit. Um, and the feature that we're going to be taking a look at is the Web Wiresheet 2.0. This is one of the major features in Niagara 4.12 and is something that I think just about everyone who uses Niagara is probably going to use or have a need to use uh, in the future. So let's jump into the browser and take a look at it. Okay, so we are in the browser now, and I am just in a folder here under my station, uh, like you might normally go into. So this uh, folder is just a made-up air handler simulation kind of thing. This is the graphic that we have made up for it, and if I come up here and switch over to my wire sheet, you'll see it looks like a wire sheet that we're typically used to. Uh, first thing you might notice is these icons up here in the top right. These are uh, new and something you might not have seen before. So obviously the first ones that we've got is a zoom in, zoom out. Nice little feature because it only zooms in this wire sheet and everything else sort of stays the same as it was before. So you've got zoom in, zoom out, and back to normal. Then we've got a select all button. This is helpful if you're on mobile and maybe uh, clicking and dragging isn't really a thing and you'll see, we'll see there's another feature that uh, fixes this as well. Um, so this select all makes that a little bit easier on you. Uh, the next we have is a uh, options page. So this we can turn off the grid, we can turn off status coloring. So as you're used to um, when slots on objects go into fault or go into alarm, you'll see those colors change. Uh, you can turn on and off your links and your relations, uh, highlighting of links, uh, your different your thumbnail position. So you can change that so it's not in the top right corner. If you want in the bottom right, you can do that. Uh, and then your maximum width and height. So we're just gonna leave that as it is. So we're back on the wire sheet and we've got our other buttons up here. We've got an undo, which I haven't done anything, so it's grayed out. Same with a redo. Those are typical as you would expect. And then the next thing is that other features that I was uh, mentioning for when you're in mobile. So this is a, a selection mode toggle. So when you are uh, on a desktop, obviously you can do your typical uh, click to select, you know, hold down uh, control and select your multiples if you wanted to, click and drag. Those are all the typical selection methods that you're used to. They all work in the browser when you're on a computer. But if you're on mobile, you don't obviously have the ability. Click and drag isn't a thing on mobile. So when you enable this mode, now when you click, everything you click becomes selected as one by one. I'm not holding down anything on the keyboard, and I'm selecting all these things. So that's a, that's a nice little um, quality of life thing for when you're in mobile. Another really nice quality of life thing that doesn't exist actually uh, in Workbench is the ability to do something like this. So I have, um, you know, uh, let's see, let's pick something. Uh, let's actually do this. I'm gonna make a new point. You see I did the normal thing that you're probably used to doing if you work a lot with uh, kit control and basic Niagara logic, which is if you wanna add in a new point of any kind, you just right click, new, and then you have your points that you can add in. So I just added in a Boolean point here. And I'm going to grab a uh, another Boolean point from another place on this station. I'm going to select it, and I'm going to click and drag. Now, normally, when you click and drag in, 
you're basically just copying this point, right? So I, I clicked and I dragged into this wire sheet. Uh, if I hit OK here, just going to create a new copy of that point with the same name. That's not what I want. This new feature is if I click and drag, but instead of going to the white space, I go over a point. You can see my icon change to an arrow. Now it's going to make a link for me automatically. So I can do out to in like we're used to. And now I have that linked up. Like we're also used to, I can right click on that nub and say go to linked point and it'll go there for me. So I don't need these anymore. Now you can see I also have my palette open over here on the side. I can open and close that with the palette button on the left. And that works identically to how you're used to. This uh, sort of basic functionality was existing previously, but you know it works exactly like you'd expect. Click and drag. Uh, you can bring it in. Delete that too. And for other things, we have our typical right-click menu. So if you right-click on a point, you can see this point is overridden. If I right-click, I can go to Actions. I can go to Auto. And I have my normal link marks um, and those sorts of uh, ease of use features that you're used to when you right click. Same thing with pin slots. All of those things exist and work identically to what you're used to from Workbench itself. And like in Niagara, I can right click and go do a text block. And I can add in something to make it a little bit easier for me to manage this as I would expect to um, from Workbench itself. And now I'm over in Workbench and you can see it's mapped across identically to what we're seeing in the browser. So this is our, our Workbench version. You can see that that text block went exactly where I put it in the browser. Come back over here. We're, we're identical. That makes it really nice for uh, text that go out in the field. Maybe they don't have a copy of Workbench on their laptop, and maybe there's not a supervisor out in the field. They can just plug into a JACE and pull up the browser and get access to a vast majority of the features and things that are in a normal wire sheet. So that does it for this little uh, feature update uh, that's available now in 4.12. Like I said, that Vicon version is available now. If you're a Honeywell or a Johnson partner, you'll uh, be seeing those versions uh, coming out here uh, relatively soon. We don't have an exact date on when that'll be, but once they go through their normal uh, quality assurance and testing with their uh, specialty modules, then we'll see it available. So thanks for watching and uh, see you next time.